mid card on SmackDown. Like, very tough act to follow. Um, but interesting draft going on, and we'll see what happens with the panning out. Um, let's get into our backlash picks. Um, that's going to be happening Saturday in Puerto Rico uh, for the first time since New Year's Revolution, I think in 2006, when they had 2005, 2006 mm-hmm. Elimination Chamber there. That's a long time. So, But now they're finally visiting back to Puerto Rico. Um, makes me think about Carlito. Um, just, you know, being one of the greats there from Puerto Rico, one of the best wrestlers there. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we miss Carlito for a long time, man. Disrespectful. He, how much you want to bet? How much you want bet? He's gonna make a cameo, like he's gonna be backstage he and gonna apple on someone's face. He should, for he, sure. He probably is. It, it makes too much. If they're gonna be in Puerto Rico for the first time in this many years, yeah, he's gonna be there in some form. Man, is Jack, too. Yeah, exactly. Great shape, man. yeah. Bro, these were these guys nah, yeah. all like <laughs> he's, he's, he's gonna, gonna have to get in shape in their older yeah. age. <laughs> yeah, he, he's gonna do something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 just starts getting jacked. Um, hold on, let me just try to share a screen there. And of course, with our picks. Oh, uh, come on! Don't freeze on me. Man, Golden State is up. I know. Yeah. Oh well, this is going just like yeah, I, I, said, I said. I said I said it was gonna be. I said it was gonna be similar to. Uh, <laughs> I said it was gonna be similar to. Um, it's a uh, the the Boston Philadelphia game. <laughs> it's at twenty one now. Um, but we can, you pay. Like yeah, yeah, that be, <laughs> um, okay, let's just get it right out the gate, right? We got Seth Rollins versus Omos. I'm gonna go first. I'm picking Omos. Because you cannot have him continue to lose. You cannot. If anybody's bulletproof right now, it's it's Seth Rollins. He can take a loss. He can no, take a loss, guys. No, he you. cannot. He can if, take he's, a loss. if he's going to get that title right now, he does not need to lose. I'm a, can I make my pick? I'm, I'm going to just, just say one thing, and I'm not going to say anything else about this match. Seth Rollins is going to win this match. <laughs> Why? Because Omos is a fucking free agent. Is he? <laughs> is Omos a free agent? He's a fucking yeah, free, he's agent. A free agent. Yep. So realistically, it doesn't even matter if he loses. He's still a fucking free agent. He's still going to be able to go from show to show. He'll probably just go to SmackDown and do some shit, and, and then you'll forget about what happened at the pay-per-view. I'm telling you, maybe this is a way so when they do the world title when they do the world title tournament, they can make Omos look like a threat because he already beat Seth Rollins. If that was the case, it he would have got drafted. It adds intrigue. I'm telling you. I'm just saying. He can sign a 10-day. <laughs> he's on a 10 day contract. So you're telling me he's beating Seth clean. Come on, sign a 10. Oh, no, this is going to be some type of shenanigans. You get on TV. There's going to be some type of shenanigans. Why would but he need shenanigans? He's he's the seven foot, six inch, yeah, blah, 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 blah. blah. Bro, bro, no, no one cares anymore because he doesn't win. I'm just I'm just saying, I'm going Omos. I'm going Omos. I'm going Omos, man. No, I'm going Omos. Seth's winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Right. yeah this, guy, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, <laughs> well, all right. Okay. You know what? The, I would say the maybe the only way Omos wins is if maybe finally the hurt business gets back together, but I don't that's not happening. Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander are also free agents. Yes, they are. They are <laughs> yeah, but Bobby's on SmackDown. Free agents it? trio, yeah, and they Bobby's can go after Sm- yeah, Bobby's on SmackDown. And they can go after they can go after Seth Rollins. That's the plan, guys. Omos, We're going Omos, man. Uh, you guys just don't believe in Omos, man. I'm 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 sad, man. What is there to believe in? Exactly. He had a great showing against Brock Lesnar. He had a great showing wow. against Brock Lesnar. Wow, what a great loss again. <laughs> he got an extra five minutes where he didn't fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him the title. <laughs> oh man, I'm just saying, there's not giving him the title, he's just beating Seth Rollins. That's all I'm you saying. Know what? I, you know what? What match I would have preferred to have seen Omos versus Austin Theory. Then I would be <laughs> and if he still loses, why Austin then, man, I'm out of here. Bro, why Austin Theory? <laughs> I think you know what? I, I think, I think it's time for him to lose that title because. I think it's 
if he's really going to be like the future, he needs to level up and start getting into those like main event matches, even if he loses, but like build that character right now. He's, Mm -hmm. I feel like he's kind of done what he can do with this U S title run. And it's, Okay, he's facing the same people again. He's facing Bobby That's Lashley again. Into the next match. Yeah. <laughs> Austin Theory yep. versus Bobby Lashley versus Bronson Reed. I want Austin Theory because I think the reign's going to continue. He's going to SmackDown. He's going to have new faces to face, new people to go against, multi-man matches potentially going throughout the summer. And then maybe late in the fall, they're going to see if he can be a main event player into next year. That's what I'm thinking. But I think right now he still has the title. Yeah, I'm also gonna go uh, Austin Theory on this. Hey. One. Uh, yeah. no, I mean, it, it makes no sense for him to lose the title at this point from getting. Uh, Why, not? Know, draft, uh, Why not? Drafted. I mean, Why realistically, not? if that's the case, the only person that can beat him is uh, is uh, Lashley, since Lashley's on SmackDown and Bronson Reed got drafted to Raw. I'm but a... um, but yeah, but if you but if you want to really uh, you know continue the, the build of Theory, you don't have him lose the title right here in this triple threat. I mean, I'd rather have him. Be in a serious feud for the title. Um, that, that helps elevate them. Uh, well, well, look, you see SmackDown's roster. Let me just see. I mean, I, I think he's. Gonna, I honestly think he's going to have a feud with Edge because it, yeah, it's perfect. Nah, now nah, Edge nah. needs the U.S. title. Edge is the new legend killer. They beat John Cena. Now he goes after Edge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he ain't beating Edge. Nah, I Edge think, I think there's other guys there. You got um AJ Styles. You got um. Very the Randy Orton look. Randy Orton's okay. on there as well. Read me who, who uh, else is on SmackDown because SmackDown, you got Bobby. I think Bobby's going to be in the title picture. All of them? You got Bobby. You got Edge. Uh, you, you got AJ Styles who's back now. I don't <laughs> <laughs> now AJ's gonna get a shot. No, the OC in the bloodline, that's gonna be a feud coming up. I don't exactly I don't know so he's not gonna be win, in that gonna US win. title picture. Oh, another guy. Hold on, let's Grayson see Waller from NXT. NXT. He's on SmackDown now. The Street Profits board. <laughs> They're on SmackDown. The Street Profits are also on SmackDown. So I'm saying mm-hmm. too many tag teams, mm-hmm. no titles. I swear, they're, they're I think they're going to lose soon. They got to start soon. Some, uh, if yeah. anything, they the need to announce Santos this Escobar. tag. They could go after him. Mm. If they Team don't, they should. If anything, they should announce <laughs> sooner than later. <laughs> they they need to announce whatever they're doing with these tag titles. At least even announce it at Backlash. Like yeah, either at Backlash. Yeah. Give me, give me something. But I'm my pick is Bronson. LA Knight is also on mm-hmm. there. That is true. My yeah. pick is Bronson Reed. <sighs> and do you know why? Why? He got a vignette. <laughs> <laughs> the They're vignette invested in him. <laughs> always wins. <laughs> <laughs> so, talking about, so if he gets drafted, so if he, so if he got drafted the raw and he wins the title, does he? Yo, know, hold up. See, they confuse people with that shit. <laughs> now, because like, if he wins, like, does he just go to SmackDown? That's what like, I'm saying. Like, like, but he, he got drafted by Raw. There can't be two mid card titles on one brand. Oh wait, yeah, Bronson I'm sure got that's how they're gonna play. Raw. Yeah, he did. He did. Raw. Yeah, I thought he was on SmackDown. Oh, now he okay. got drafted. Like, <laughs> <never mind. laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Oh, well, okay, you, never you mind. I, th- I thought they were both. I thought all three were on SmackDown. That's why I picked them. Um, uh, so you crap. changed yeah, it? Yeah, Austin Theory. Uh, Bobby Lashley is on SmackDown. I Just know, saying. but do you think – I don't think Bobby's – he don't need the title uh, again. You don't need it. No, I know. <laughs> the U.S. title That's again. We don't need another Lashley Theory feud, man. I'm tired of seeing I know, but that, who do you think is going to be <laughs> Roman's first feud against the blood? Like, who's going to go up against Roman first? It's either yeah, AJ or it's either AJ. Either, it's probably going to end up being Lashley. Matter of fact, the Lashley match is probably not going to happen until SummerSlam. Yeah, I don't feel like that will happen now. And if he wins the title, that would just delay it soon. So. 
I'm probably just gonna go with theory. Theory is probably gonna walk out to him. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Bronson Lee was on SmackDown, I'm like, oh hell yeah, he he could easily win it. And mm-hmm. just because like his down, persona down. right now, no. <laughs> get him out of here. Go. <laughs> <laughs> um, another interesting match on the card here. We got Bad Bunny versus Damian Priest. <clears throat> this build up got up intense over the past couple of weeks, of course. Uh, Judgment Day putting Bad Bunny through a table, mainly Damian Priest. Bad Bunny coming out and attacking Damian Priest. Um, very short feud. Obviously, this is just a, a, a promo match. Puerto Rico having two big stars from Puerto Rico. Um, Damian Priest from Puerto Rico, big indie star. Now on the main event roster, Bad Bunny main event star. Obviously, another uh, 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 guest host match. Who do you guys think is going to win? I pick Bad Bunny because I'm like, they're in Puerto Rico. They're not going to do that. <laughs> Day loses again. Yeah. I mean, why would we need to spend this much time on this match? Yeah. I mean, yeah. this match is literally just a, this match is literally just a showcase match for Bad Bunny to be in his home in his home country. Yeah, that that's literally what what this is. We You're know not going to have the a, biggest Latin star lose in his home country. Exactly. But they you never know. Push. He he could also be humble. I mean, I don't know. I saw that that clip of him getting through the table everywhere. Like people were like, Oh my God, they really hurt him. They <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And you're like, it, it I mean, was, he, uh, he did roll up and you're like, Oh shit. They, they fucked. Yeah. Up. Nah, he took, he, he sold that. <laughs> he he sold that. <laughs> I mean, but they could, I mean, they could, I'm, I'm thinking mainly that they're going to have the LWO help him. Yeah, um, for sure. Help him get that it's a street fight. So no DQ. So, yeah, so I mean, what? and then, you know, whenever I hear wrestlers, whenever, whenever I hear wrestlers talk about no DQ matches, they're like they're easier than regular matches because mm-hmm. you can kind of just do whatever you want, take yeah, whatever. Yeah, bump yeah. You do. I think Mick Foley said that he was like, "Those are a lot easier than any other matches." So, okay, <laughs> um, but we're all going to clean sweep. Bad Bunny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, moving on here, I guess we can go to uh, KO and Sammy with Riddle versus the Bloodline. I went with the bloodline because I think this is their way to get out. Um, they dropped the titles already. Um, they lost the tag team titles match on Raw. And I'm just thinking the Usos are going to get their bloodline win, especially with the uh, – they have Matt Riddle, Riddle here to take the fall, in my opinion. He's not going to be hurt by a pinfall or anything like that. So um, I think that's what it is. And then especially with Kevin Owens arguing with um, Matt Riddle over the course of Raw and stuff like that. So I think that's something – that back right. I feel like the bloodline. I'm giving, I'm going to bloodline. Um, I actually have been going back and forth on, on this match a lot, but essentially this match is this match is pretty much putting a putting an end to this feud, is it not? It has to. It has to. It has to. It has to. <laughs> I mean, not, not, I mean, obviously, they're both, both sets of teams are being drafted to different shows. So obviously, I'm I'm thinking, yeah, this this is going to be the, the end of this. So so. Mm-hmm. I gotta go with Matt with our uh, Riddle KO and Sammy because because if you really if, if they're really starting this uh, bloodline storyline the bloodline starting to starting to crumble from within first losing the tag team titles and now this is the way to go. If they lose this match it kind of continue continues that uh, story with the with, with the Usos therefore I think one of the Usos is probably gonna end up taking the pin it's not gonna be Solo definitely not Solo yeah it's Solo in the match Jimmy yeah Solo's in the match yeah yeah he's in the- Probably gonna yeah, end Jay up or Jimmy's Jimmy. taking the fall. Yeah, one, one of them is gonna take the fall. <laughs> it's yeah, Jimmy. I'm, His wife I'm, just I'm went saying... to the impact. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's punishment. <laughs> it's punishment. <laughs> no, I'm 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 same as Brian because yeah, you already see the fact that the bloodline didn't get drafted with the Usos. Um, you know, and them being like, you know, they lost and everything. Um, it's it's the beginning of the, the like the split, I believe. So um, I think and that's why Jay they're also. gonna lose, and then fucking <laughs> Solo takes out both his brothers or some shit. Like, I feel like that might be crazy, and that might be something because whatever the hell Paul Heyman keeps hinting, like it's your time to shine. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. And then, like, he was gonna <laughs> do something on Friday and didn't get a chance to do it, obviously because of Matt Riddle. And if they lose Saturday, he's gonna do whatever the hell he was gonna do on Friday. So. It'll be interesting because the Paul Heyman's always on that red phone. I wonder if he's going to switch the phone to blue. But mm-hmm. um, 
He's using that nah, OG man. iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but he's always on the phone, apparently talking to Roman Reigns, and Roman Reigns is not even on this card. So no. another another way to carry through this and then continue that storyline as well. So I can see from you guys' standpoint, but I think I can see them giving Bloodline a win and then kind of them trying to get in the good graces of Roman again and continuing that. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, moving on to basically the SmackDown women's title. <laughs> Rhea yep. Ripley, uh, Zelina Vega in Puerto Rico. Um, Zelina Vega, hometown girl. Is she? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, she's Puerto Rican. She's Puerto Rican. Yeah. Yeah, so that match is going on. Uh, this was kind of put together as uh, as the draft was approaching. Um, Zelina Vega basically getting the opportunity to face Rhea Ripley. I'm going Rhea Ripley because I'm like, I just don't see them doing that. Let's and go, Zelina. They're on- <laughs> <laughs> and they're both on separate <laughs> And they're both on separate brands, so I, I just don't see I just don't see that happening. See, yeah, and see yeah, this yeah. is what I what I don't like. The, I mean, I don't like that they're. I mean, I guess it's to finish out whatever storyline before, but it's it's just I don't like. And th- this is what makes it I think somewhat predictable. That's why I like the whole Austin Theory, Bobby Lashley, Bronson Reed. It's like you would think all these guys are going to be on the same show, and then you got Bronson Reed on Raw. So obviously, like. They're not going to have all the titles. <laughs> yeah. And then that's the only reason I was picking him because I'm like, no, he's he's getting that push, that rub. Like, he's mm-hmm. made, being made to look like a monster. Like, he could honestly use the title. And mm-hmm. if not, shit, maybe he'll go after Gunther after this. But I just don't like that you have people on separate brands going after each other. And then you're like, okay, well, that's it. They're not going to fight each other anymore. I mean, the draft does take effect May 8th. <laughs> oh, is that what they said? Yeah, 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 like that yeah. is why your picks affect May yeah. 8th. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, exactly. That's, that's the reason why I was saying in the in the previous match with the uh, bloodline against my riddle, like they're going to different shows anyway. So this is the end, end yeah. of the feud. So you know, why not end it with the um, KO and Sammy and them going over one one, one more time yeah. to continue yeah. the, that storyline? But um, as far as uh, Rina Zelina goes, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go yeah, it's, it's, Rhea. It's really yeah, that's a sweep. We can just we can just go Rhea. Um, yeah, this is just this is just to have a a women's title match on the card and just get and yeah. to somewhat continue this uh judgment day and LWO storyline. Um, so yeah, it's gotta be but the judgment day is on raw now. <laughs> well, well, put an end to, hypothetically, put an end to that <laughs> storyline, yeah, <laughs> kind of have one little big girl, okay. Uh, moving on to the next match, we got Bianca Belair, Raw Women's Champion, versus Io Shirai. I want Io Shirai because I'm hoping that they continue this on SmackDown, kind of build Io Shirai up, kind of build, give her a new face, have her face other people, be in that mix of other women on that level, singles title, on the main roster. Hopefully that should happen, but we don't know. Um, I'm going to Io Shirai, just throwing something out there. <laughs> I'm going to go... Bianca, but damage control causes EO to lose, which I uh, really hope is mm-hmm. the end of damage control because you already know the pieces of EO breaking off on their own is gonna happen. Damn Lewis. Yeah, you took yeah, you took my prediction exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what I was gonna say. You know? Bianca Belair wins because Bailey does so- Bailey does mm-hmm. something accidental to uh, to cost EO Sharada Sh- 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 yep. the title. And I it, and I don't think EO will win because you know, EO needs to break it's, away first before we, yeah, we talk about EO. Win the title. Win the title. And think, well, she wins the title. She's still a part of the, part of this group. I what if she wins? What if she wins and then breaks away and hmm. says, "I don't need you. I don't need you guys anymore. I can do it on my own. I don't need you." Maybe Bailey helps her win, and then it goes to her head, and she breaks away. Character development, but I don't know. That's a possible. That's a possibility. But I, I just want to see her break away. You know, break away first. Think about it. her first yeah. major feud. When she breaks away, it's probably going to be against Bailey to to, yeah. to establish her to establish her as a uh, as a few as a future star. And then after that yeah. feud, then he, we can determine if she's a title uh, title ready per se. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah, we'll see, but it's like you guys see Bianca being dominant. I don't see her losing, especially after her status. Um, but I'm just going to Io Shirai just because. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, moving on to our last match, Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. 
Um, with Cody Rhodes being drafted to Raw and Brock Lesnar being a free agent, there's two, there's two free agents on this this card, right? So Brock Lesnar's the second, but um, I'm going Cody Rhodes because I'm like they they can't have him lose to Brock Lesnar and then Brock Lesnar be gone for three months <laughs> and then come back for SummerSlam. Well, well, well we all know who Lewis is going to pick. So go ahead, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Still denying his credibility. That's crazy. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, but okay, answer me this though. Answer me this. In, in what way in what way does Cody Rhodes beat Brock clean? With the Bionic elbow, man. Come on. <laughs> Family history, man. Come on, man. Brock Dusty, will, man. Get Brock's gonna Kimura that fucking I mean, <laughs> I mean, think about do you remember the, the, the attack on Raw? I mean, he Brock fucked Cody up. Exactly. So in that match, so in so in that match, Cody's probably gonna like low blow him or some shit and, get, and, and win. No, he's too ba- he's too clean right now to be doing a low blow. Right now. Well, that, I think that beatdown was vicious that, enough. This is what I'm saying though. He's yes, in a fight for know. his life. He's yes, in a fight know. for his life. <laughs> but we know it makes sense that Cody should win this because it's the roadblock. But then at the same time, this roadblock isn't gonna lead to anything because he's gonna be on Raw. <laughs> 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 it's not gonna lead to Roman. Not now, not maybe to like the least, rumble or like we said, Brock, uh, money in the maybe bank. Maybe at least to maybe at least to Brock entering the tournament. What tournament? The, free, the world title tournament. Yeah, but, bro, I swear to I swear to God, Brock Lesnar becomes the. Mm, mm. He's yeah, having out there, and you know it's a possibility too, and you well, know it. What will will Vince be providing creative feedback? It probably is on the table right now. <laughs> Saudi Arabia, big draw. Exactly. You know, Lewis has been talking about Brock Lesnar's big draw ability us, over the us, course of his it's, it's not his <laughs> fault. He's a fucking animal. He's fucking massive, and there's no <laughs> not too many people that can compete on this exactly. level besides Roman, Drew, Bobby. But Omos, because you guys are so fucking high and mighty on Omos. Yes, yes. Um, I understand. But Triple H said that the, this new world heavyweight champion was going to be a workhorse champion. Not someone that's going to win. I, don't, I, don't, I really don't see Brock see winning. Survivor series. Mm-hmm. But this is the pro- This is the only problem with when people face Brock. It's like, how do you legit like, look what it took for Roman. He, man literally put the fucking ring on him. To fucking oh, yeah, win, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. it's it, unless you're it's fucking like Braun Strowman or Drew. It just like, reminds me. Really it just reminds me. Brock. This, this just mean, reminds me of that Triple H Brock Lesnar match where Triple H was supposed to lose and he didn't, <laughs> and he ended up winning with the with the sledgehammer. Now I don't think it was WrestleMania. What what was after that? Because they didn't they fight twice. Uh, yeah, yeah, they they fought uh, at yeah. SummerSlam. Brock broke his hand or whatever the case may be. Yeah, you know, I remember. Yeah, because he put him in the Kim- the Kimura. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah, the yeah, Triple H yeah. came back and beat him. So beat him at WrestleMania. This is what this is what this is reminding me of. <laughs> <laughs> but but this is, you still haven't answered my question. How does Cody beat Brock? He crossroads him into the, the, the steel steps. I don't know. <laughs> is that the disqualification? Is not a, a, palm, a palm tree in Puerto Rico just falls on Brock Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> and Cody pins him one, two, three. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably going to hit the ankle. crossroads on him like five times without letting go. <laughs> I'm telling you, by all the going to win. And then Brock wins with one F5, and that's the end of the match. <laughs> They can't do that to Cody. They already let's <laughs> express them at WrestleMania. They yeah. can't do that. <laughs> they can't. Insane. They You're can't. Insane. So, so Lewis is going Brock Lesnar. Uh, Brian, what's your? I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna go um, Brock. I'm gonna go Brock. Um, I'm. Uh, um, I'm gonna go Cody on this one. I mean, you can't have him lose after uh, after You're that. Not, you have yet to give me how he wins. I just not. I just gave him a suggestion. He, he said he's going to hit the crossroads. Know how he normally hits the crossroads and then like he'll hang on and hit another one? He's going to do that like five times and beat him that way. That's exactly what's going to That second one, you know what Rock, Brock's going to do? He's going to throw his ass back to the States. <laughs> throw his ass back to the Go back to Florida. Go back to AEW. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> Throw them right there. All right, but those are our picks for uh, Backlash. Uh, and Seth Rollins versus Omos. You guys are going Seth Rollins. I'm going Omos, the real pick. Uh, we got a clean sweep on the U.S. title match. The Austin smallest Perry. pick. Uh, we got a clean... <laughs> we got a clean. We got a clean sweep on the Bad Bunny Damian Street fight. Um, you guys are going Matt Riddle, KO, and Sammy. I'm going the Bloodline in that three on three match. We got a clean sweep with Rhea. You guys are going Bianca Belair. I'm going Io Shirai, and me and Brian are picking Cody Rhodes. And Lewis is going with the um, not Goat Bracket nominee uh, Brock Lesnar. Um, <laughs> Brock Lesnar, the free agent. Brock he doesn't. He, he's not even good enough to make a. He's not even good enough Brock to get drafted. Has been more. Oh, I'm he's, sorry. He's he's 20, not, he's he's I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Brock wasn't. He's uh, top twenty. Didn't, didn't see more races <laughs> to make it into the bracket. He's top. He's top thirty. He's top thirty. He's he's all. Oh, he's he's, 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 he's exactly. great. I'm sorry, Brock. I'm sorry, Brock didn't make a, a sex tape to get into the bracket as well. <laughs> <laughs> You come on with that so, shit. Sorry, sorry, Brock didn't hit all these accolades <laughs> to make it into the bracket. He didn't make no holds barred. He didn't make <laughs> he didn't leave some nice uh message about other ethnicities. You know? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, th- those are the standards to make it, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Let's just whoa, go, let's whoa, just go whoa, 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 whoa. Brock Lesnar did have the boom box. Remember, he did have the Moomba. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's dancing yeah, racist. That. That, was <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. I got to watch that again. I forgot all about that. Yeah, I got to watch that. It was hilarious. Oh, man. Uh, Let's get this started so we can get Hogan out of here. 